Terry, looking for the perfect pre-Christmas present uh, this weekend with the three points against Dundee. Yeah, the players are itching to get back. I think they've had enough of Christmas and I think the preparations that they've had there, their Christmas due last uh, weekend in, in Newcastle and nobody was arrested or any, any trouble, so that was fine. They came through that pretty well. Um, and they, you know, they put a lot of hard work into the previous week as well, as they've done all season. So it was good this week and one or two had a little bit of a rest, but we certainly uh, you know, have, have prepared well for, for Dundee. And we want to get, the players want to get back out there and play again because there's nothing better than you know, putting the Cali Thistle jersey on and getting out there and you know, playing alongside your teammates because um, you know, we're on uh, a good run of form, we're banging in the goals, um, we're winning matches and climbing the table and we, we obviously want that to continue on Saturday. You're up against the, the bottom side, Dundee. Um, you beat them 4-1 last time out, but Dundee have kind of picked up recently. They've picked up points and they're showing that they're they're going to scrap for survival this season. Yeah, as you would expect them to do. And I said to Barry Smith after the game that you know don't don't be down because it's still early in the season for you. You know when we won 4-1, um, and there's still plenty of time for these players to to gel and get together. And you can see that they've you know started to do that. Um, they've got you know pretty much a settled side. They've got obviously some some men out injured. May have one or two back on Saturday, but. They've got the nucleus of a side that's played together pretty well, and apart from the occasional blip, they've done uh, reasonably well in terms of picking up results. So we know that they've got a uh, you know, big colonies up front as well, and they've got players that can score one of the goals, as we saw last week at, at Ross County. So you know they are, they are a, you know, an SPL team. We'll, so we'll certainly treat them with, with uh, great respect, but um, you know we want to continue the, the good work that you know, the players have shown over this season and uh, ensure that we you know that we keep our run going ourselves. But you know they're they've, they're a side that you know they've got nothing to lose. They'll certainly have a go at us, and they'll certainly play some good football because they've got good footballs in the team. Yeah, kind of dangerous game in one aspect because they are kind of fighting for survival. But like you say, you're you know fighting for your your well, you're fighting for owners at the top there. Um, you know it's it's one of these games that could go either way. Yeah, it can. We'll, we'll obviously want to you know try and assert our system and our style of play uh, on Dundee. Um, we certainly in the past we certainly enjoyed playing against Dundee and. Yeah, we've certainly had some great results against them and we, we uh, want that to continue. The only time we've lost, I think, in my recollection, is uh, when we lost in the Challenge Cup final, when we were 2 0 up and lost 3 2. So, yeah, that was a, a, a bit of memory. But the rest of the time we played against Dundee, we've done, we've done well and enjoyed it. But you know, we're back home now in, in front of our, our home crowd, who are getting noisier um, by the game. It's just fantastic, you know. I've never heard of Cali this sort of uh, crowd and, and fan support sing so much, which is absolutely brilliant. You know, the away fans are just mental. They just they go bananas all the time, but the home fans have just been a little bit quieter. But now they're really starting to get to their feet and cheering us on, and I think it's great. And I think they can see something special happening here, and it's even more special when our crowd starts singing about it as well. So everybody's got to get behind us on, on, on Saturday, which I'm sure they'll do, and cheer us on because, you know, the lads really appreciate that. But, um, it's uh, you know, it's another match for us. We've got... Um, uh, you know we've, we've we've done pretty well at home recently, and we want that to continue, um, and also continue scoring goals and making chances as we have done. Not to say they haven't enjoyed it before, but the players look like they are enjoying playing at home now. And they I say you're starting to turn this place into a, a fortress. Yeah, we we wanted to do that. Our home form over recent years hasn't been particularly great. You know, our away form's normally been better. I think the away form is slightly better this year, but um, you know our home form is much improved. And yeah, yeah, you want to win in front of your home fans, and you want to make sure that. You know, the home fans come, whether it be hospitality, whether it be um, as guests or paying customers, or, you know, they, or season ticket holders, you want to see them come back time and time again because they enjoy coming and watching what the players do. And I think some of the quality of goals that we've scored, the, the amount of effort the boys have put into matches and the matches that we've won, um, you know, they've certainly been rewarded this year, the, 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 the fans, with some, some great displays and great, great results. So it's... Uh, yeah, it's it's nice when you you know we haven't got any injuries, but everybody's fine, everybody's fit, they're ready to go. They've they've had enough of Christmas shopping. I think getting the relatives sorted out, the travel and all that sort of thing. It's nice to get focused on the game of football for a change. The Christmas period, you've got four games coming up, is always kind of a busy time of the year. But these guys are desperate to play games, and you know you've got four in, in quick succession. They'll they'll relish that. Yeah, we're we're pretty much used to playing a lot of games in a short space of time with all the cup matches that we've had this season as well. Um, but the players are certainly, you know, they're, they're very professional, they look after themselves well. We've got good facilities up at DW as well that do and look after the players. So, um, yeah, they've, um, they've really been a credit to themselves this season when we've had to play a lot of matches in a short space of time. But they've just got on with their job and they've managed to forget the, 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 the previous game, the first game or second game and get on with it. And, you know, they've, they've done really well. So 
just because it's Christmas doesn't mean that you know we want to be handing out any presents to anybody else. We want to make sure that we um, get the points, get the job done, and um, then see where we are because there's a good break to look forward to after the four matches, two at home and two away. Um, there's a nice little break where the players can, particularly the ones from down south, can go back and see their families or if they haven't come up or, or spend a bit of time and relax uh, and get over the season. So I'm really looking forward to that and the players are as well. But first things first, and you know, the first of four matches starts on Saturday. Um, and we want to, you know, obviously win every one of those. Like I say, you've got the four games and you've got the, the break as well. Have you set any kind of points, Tyler? Would you like to come back from the break and, and know that you've got a, a little bit of a gap? Gary Warren spoke about creating a gap between, you know, the, 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 the clubs maybe on the verge of the top six places. No, we've never really created uh, any targets or set any targets for the players. I think um, I mean, we, we tried to do that at the start of the season, but I don't think it ever sort of materialised. But. Um, I think we've surpassed any targets that we that we set before, but it's it's wonderful to to have done that. But um, you know, that's we, you know we want to keep on breaking records and beating targets or whatever they may be and, and so forth. But no, I've not set any targets for the any points totals for the next uh, four games. I think you know the two at home and two away. There's there's hardly any travelling. Only just down to Perth for St Johnson on the 29th. So you know, there's, we're, we're we're not spending much time on the team bus as we normally do. But we can certainly enjoy it. I think um, you know, these these four matches could you know go a long way to um, to helping us um, have a good 2013. You know, we've had a good end to 2012. We want a good end uh, or a good start to 2013, and that means uh, um, obviously with the match at Ross County, but also those these cup matches coming up, plus other important league matches as well. Yeah, 2013 shaping up to be a big one for Cali Thistle. Um, in terms of the January transfer window, are you? Are you looking at uh, adding to your squad? Will you no, be allowed to? I'm not really looking at doing any business in January. Um, if someone goes from the club for whatever reason, then you know, yeah, we can look to replace. But at this moment in time, I'm happy with the squad I've got. Um, we haven't got a lot of money to go and do things, which is that's the way things are. But if we can, you know, the, the break especially would help players um, uh, recuperate and regenerate and you know, be ready for the second half of the season. So. Um, that break is, you know, probably as valuable to me as and, and to the players as a as a new signing. So, um, uh, you know, we have to utilise that very well. But we'll, we'll see. You know, we'll see. It's um, still early days yet. I'm not even thinking about you know, activity in January. I'm thinking now about concluding contracts with with some of the players and also um, getting you know maximum points from these next four games. You've already said on record as well that you want to. You're desperate to keep a hold of the likes of Billy McKay, Andrew Shinney uh, as well. That I mean, that goes without saying. You you want to hold on to these guys. Yeah, we're we're pretty close to doing that. And if you know if if we can uh, can conclude that soon, um, I'll be delighted. And hopefully then that'll be the uh, sort of catalyst for other players then to uh, continue being with us. Because there's a lot of players I want to get around to speaking to, and some I haven't done yet. Some I've just t touched base with. But uh, more importantly, um, some of you know, certainly a long way down the road of of re-signing. So. That's encouraging. Excellent stuff, Teddy. Thanks for that. Thank you.